I'm in my menu. It's a very, very simple menu. There's only a couple of items, but I'm going to show you how you can change the items, um, quick ways to change all your prices if you want. Uh, and also there'll be another video detailing exactly how to do things like modifier groups. So firstly, let's add a new menu item. So at the moment, there's only two burgers. You've got Dom's classic burger and Dom's chicken burger. I want to add Dom's double classic burger, for example. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to click add item and this will pop out. So the way that I'm going to do it, I'm going to name the item here. So I want to call it Dom's double classic burger. Now I want to add a description. I want customers to know what they're getting. So in Dom's Double Classic Burger, you're getting two beef patties. <laughs> this is just an example with gherkins, bacon rashers, and Dom's Special Burger Sauce. Jazz up your descriptions as much as you like. Just let customers know what they can expect when they're ordering an item. I want to add a category here. So your categories are these here. So there's only three categories in this menu at the moment, the soft drinks, sides, and burgers. So when I click this, it'll actually list them here, but imagine you've got loads, you'll have to search it, but you click that. So this will come into the category section. Uh, now I need the price. It's going to be a bit more expensive than the classic burger. It's going to be seven pounds. There we go. And modify groups will come on to later. If you click save now, it'll load and then it'll add it there. So this will just come in the bottom. If you want to move the order of the menu around, you can just drag it here. Just make sure you click in save after you do it. Otherwise it won't save. You can, it's the same, it's the same principle for, for moving the actual categories around. So if you wanted sides above burgers, you do that and then click save. But I don't want sides above burgers, so I won't. The other way you could add an item is if you want it, you could go to the item section and add a new item here. It's the exact same principle, adding an item here, you add your name, your description, uh, your category and your price. Uh, and then you can add modifiers here. Quickest way to edit a menu item. Let's say I want to update the description for Dom's classic burger. Again, I, I'd, I'd always encourage you to add descriptions. I'd simply click on click on the item that I want to edit. You'll see that on the right, the item that you're clicking on will populate. Click in here, add the description you want, classic burger with cheese, for example. Again, I can update, I, I can update the prices here. I can add modifier groups, which will be another video. And then I just click save. It's very, very straightforward. You can also search for the item in this section here. Uh, and get it on like a big screen. So I'll search for the classic, classic double burger this time. This one's already got a description, but you could add edit items in, in this section too, if you wanted. Just make sure you click save uh, every single time. Making changes from this overview section is a little bit quicker. So if you wanted to make a lot of changes uh, that weren't so detailed, it might be easier to do it in this section. If you do want to update your prices of lots of items, it's very, very easy to do that. Let's say I decide I'm not making enough money on the prices. They're just too cheap. I need to add a pound onto all my burgers and 50p onto all my sides. It's very, very easy to do. You just, you can do it here. You don't even have to click in here. So six, this is going to be eight pounds now. This will be six pounds. This will be two pounds 50. And the drinks I'm adding 20p onto the drinks. All this is very simple. You just you can just go through the whole menu and add a little bit onto every single item here. But again, just make sure you're clicking save at the end so that you're not wasting your time. If I decided I wanted to add a new category, so for example, Dom's Burger Place decides I want to sell hot dogs as well, uh, but I need a hot dog section. The way that I do this is I'd click categories, I click new category, and then I just type in here. I just type in the name of the category there. So hot dogs, 
Now you need to click some some places you might have two menus, for example, a breakfast and normal menu. My, my restaurant only has one menu, so I just click that. I click save. Then when I come to the overview, it'll be at the bottom here. Now I want the hot dogs to be a little bit higher up. I want them underneath the burger, so I'll just drag, dra drag it up there. And once again, click in save. Now there's nothing in the hot dog section at the moment, so I'm gonna create an item. I'll do it in the item section this time so that you can see how that works. So I click new item. I type in the name of the hot dog. This one will be called Dom's hot dog. I enter the description, premium hot dog served with hot dog sauce and fried onions. And then I need to add a category here. So this time it's gonna be hot dogs and it's gonna be five pounds. I'll then click save. As always, click in save. Now, if I go to the overview now, you'll see Dom's hot dog in the hot dog section.